at 6, a jury has cleared a former DeKalb County police officer. He was accused of planting drugs on a man during an arrest. This is a surveillance video that helped prosecutors build the charges against him. The same video also helped clear him. Channel 2's Ryan Young talked with the officer today about why that video was key in this case. Ryan. Joe Vita, we actually have our camera inside the Chevron showing you the security footage. In fact, we're standing in that same spot, and he now believes this helped clear him, and he's thankful there was an eye in the sky. It was, it was amazing. It was the best feeling ever because there were nights I couldn't even sleep. And I just wanted my life back. Former DeKalb police officer Demetrius Kendrick wants the world to know that a DeKalb County jury found him not guilty of planting drugs on a suspect. I felt like my hands were tied. I couldn't do anything. I mean, I, I would, it was like I was crying out to everybody. I did not do this. The case centered on a few seconds of video we first showed you back in February of this year. Alfonso Ellerby told us the video showed the officer planting drugs. Without that videotape, I probably would be in jail on probation. I was looking at going to prison based off an edited video. Kendrick's lawyer tells me the video was edited and what you see is not actually a throw of drugs, but the officer reaching for his police radio. That same hand movement, Mr. Kendrick made it 11 other times on the video. Now found not guilty, Kendrick wants his life and badge back. I had to move back home. I lost my, my place. Um, bills were behind. I had no income coming in. He thanks his mom and community members for standing behind him while he was brought to his weakest point. I am more bitter at the the district attorney investigator for not properly investigating and doing a sloppy investigation. So we actually got the DA to give us a comment this afternoon. They said they always seek for justice and though they respectfully disagree with the jurors, they want to thank them for their service. Obviously, the officer wants his job back. He's happy that camera was there. Obviously, it was cut from 16 minutes to 56 minutes. Of course, that's something that they'll be talking about for quite some time. He also faced another lawsuit, and he hopes to be cleared of that as well. Point live in DeKalb County. Ryan Young, Channel 2 Action News. This Not guilty. That's the verdict from the DeKalb County jury that decided a former police officer did not plant marijuana on a man he arrested two years ago. Demetrius Kendrick resigned following his arrest for violating the oath of office. He now hopes that his acquittal will get him back on the street, upholding his oath to protect and to serve. Fox News' Portia Bruner live at the DeKalb County Courthouse with more on that story tonight. Portia? Yeah, from vilified to vindicated, Mr. Kendrick says it has been a long, embarrassing, very difficult journey for him and his family, but he's certainly hoping this acquittal will get him back on the streets as a police officer and a member of the SWAT team again. I just couldn't believe that the district attorney's office was taking it this far. Demetrius Kendrick now feels vindicated by the video that once tarnished his image as a respected DeKalb County police officer. The former SWAT team officer was acquitted Wednesday by a DeKalb County jury nearly two years after he was arrested for allegedly planting marijuana on Alfonso Ellaby in July 2012. It was really a life-changing experience. It was, it was embarrassing for me. My, I felt that my character was being attacked. The encounter between Kendrick, Ellaby, and other DeKalb police officers was recorded on surveillance video from this gas station on North Harrison Road. DeKalb prosecutors said the video would prove Kendrick, seen here standing over Ellaby, tossed less than an ounce of weed behind Ellaby to justify an arrest. But Kendrick's attorneys say the state's video backfired, insisting this scene shows Ellaby using his right hand to hide the drugs. I picked the marijuana up from behind him, and I said, oh, this is what you threw behind your back. And then he said, what? And I put it to the side of him. I said, this right here. He said, this is not mine. I said, yes, it is. And I said, stand up. And he tried to snatch away from me. When you look at the totality of the picture, the investigation that was done in this case, actually the lack of a proper investigation, shoddy investigation, you will find that this man did absolutely nothing wrong. They rushed to judgment. The DeKalb County solicitor dropped Ellaby's drug possession charges. Attorneys say that's because the drugs police turned over following this encounter could not be located in the evidence room when it was time for Ellaby's trial. Still, Kendrick is grateful to the jury who decided this video proved his innocence. It's a victory for me. I've been going through this for some time, couldn't sleep, couldn't eat, um, and it's, it's been pretty awesome since yesterday. 
Oh, we should point out we have reached out to Mr. Ellaby's attorney for comment. We have not heard back <coughs> from her. We also reached out to DeKalb DA Robert James. He issued a statement saying this case was thoroughly investigated and said it is our duty to prosecute criminal activity when we believe it exists, regardless of the disposition of the victims. He says he respectfully disagrees with the jury, but is thankful for their service. Reporting live outside the DeKalb County Courthouse in downtown Decatur, Portia Bruner, Fox 5.